I thought we'd do our update uh, beginning out here this time because the plaza is all poured and this is pretty much the way it's going to look. And uh, I want to point out to you that uh, we've used three different colors of concrete, which gives it a kind of a pattern. And the darkest color is the processional path that we've talked about so many times before. And, uh, and the old altar is buried right about here. So that's always going to be part of us. And uh, another thing I'd point out is that uh, these two uh, trees that we're trying to save, they've had uh, rather large walls put around them, and that's been upsetting to some people uh, that it's going to just detract visually. But I think you'll notice that they're so far to the side that they're really not all that noticeable. And, uh, and I have a funny feeling that um, in the future, people are going to be sitting on them and visiting after Mass, so that's kind of a nice thing. Unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot to show you at this point. Uh, as we get closer to the deadline, there are going to be many more things visually to see. But the first thing that you'll notice is the font is uh, already in place. It doesn't have surfacing yet, but we've had it filled with water a couple times to test it. And, uh, and so you can see that it really commands the entrance uh, this whole notion of the processional path passes through the font because uh, theologically and spiritually you can't get to the altar without going through the font. You can't get to the realized kingdom of the future, the heavenly banquet, without having gone through baptism, without having been willing to die to this world. And so when you come into a Catholic church you're putting your back to the West, theological West, which is a way of uh, saying goodbye to sin and the old life, and you're embracing the new and eternal life as you move toward the altar through the font. There's a little bit of the floor tile that's been laid. Uh, most of the work has been uh, from the tile people, smoothing out the floor and filling in the gradations. This is a very complicated floor to do. First of all, it slopes in different directions and we're having two by two foot tiles which are really handsome but it makes it difficult on a waving floor uh, to, to put them in so that they won't crack. So there's a lot of uh, pre-work that has to be done before the tile can be laid but there's a little bit laid here so far and uh, you'll see that uh, the rest of the church is all in a square pattern, but it's a diamond pattern in the center aisle. And the center aisle will be flanked by two rows of darker tile, and that'll separate the aisle from the rest of the space. And there's some uh, larger diamond patterns going to be placed into this uh, as well, so it'll, this uh, pathway should be pretty dynamic and, uh, and very noticeable. One thing to notice is all this beautiful oak wood that is uh, slated to be put on the altar piece. And it'll be stained the same color as the pews. It's just uh, bare wood right now, but uh, that's ready to be installed. But it's already being installed in places around the room. Like for example, the bases of the columns are wrapped in that. And, uh, and also the capitals are made out of that same oak. One thing that is noticeable so far is the paint that's been done. So if you look at that wall over there, you'll see the two-tone colors that we've been talking about all along, and there'll be a stencil pattern in between them that uh, marks the, uh, the definition. Also, if you look up above, all this has been painted, and that nice wood look on the cornice up there. That cornice has always been there, but it was just painted, and now it's, uh, it's painted to look like wood, and it's gonna warm up that space a lot and tie in with the, all the wood that's down here. One thing that's visible now is uh, the cabinetry that has already been put in the new sacristy, and uh, just gonna have lots of wonderful storage here. Uh, this, of course, is where the sink will go the refrigerator will go here, and, uh, and of course all the linens and the chalices and everything will be stored up above here. So 
This is really going to be a nice working sacristy and it's so much closer to the altar area so things don't have to be taken so far. And it's interesting to know that this sacristy was always planned here back when the church was built, but because of money constraints and things like that, they sort of nixed it at the last minute, much to Father Worth's disappointment. He mentioned that to me many times, but we finally get it now. So uh, it's worth the wait. You can see the curved wall of the apse here. Uh, it's been flattened out a little bit for the cabinets, but you can still see how it looks pretty much the same as it does on the outside. Uh, it's a nice curved apse that uh, uh, has always been just a closet, but uh, now at least it's going to be a very useful closet. And this, of course, has been uh, used by the art and environment people for all of their uh, decorations. And a lot of that is not going to be necessary anymore because we'll have that altar piece where the, the altar will be decorated all the time. Uh, but they're looking forward to the adjustments that we'll make. We'll kind of reinvent the wheel when we get to that point. And uh, so they have moved a lot of their stuff upstairs and we're kind of waiting to see just what's going to fit, what's going to work in the new space. Uh, they're already dreaming up some new ideas. Uh, some, some fresh ways of doing things that, that I think are going to be exciting, so I, I, I look forward to that as well. This is uh, music storage, and this shelving was already here, they just gave it a fresh coat of paint, and, uh, and this will all be carpeted. But uh, th this is where the uh, tables for the bell choir and all the bell choir equipment and other instruments and, and uh, microphones and all that kind of stuff that's used in the music ministry it's all going to be stored here and uh, and then back on the far wall there there's a, a room for a nice bookshelf and all the music will be stored on that shelf this is the old sacristy and you might remember there was cabinetry all along here and uh, a sink and all this has been done away with and uh, so now it's still going to be a sacristy but it's going to be a vesting sacristy only so uh, that one long shelf above and then one long rod underneath that and uh, and so we'll be able to have all of the vestments uh, in here in one place instead of hauling them back and forth from the rectory and during different seasons and things and there's a little bit of cabinetry that's, that's remaining because we will need to do certain things like incense uh, starting out back here for processions and stuff. So some of that will remain here. We'll kind of determine as we go along just where we'll put everything.